A drone attack was launched on the city of Kotovsk in Russia's Tombov region on July 4, local telegram channels reported. One of the kamikaze drones belonging to the Ukrainian army hit a gunpowder factory. As a result, an explosion occurred. No casualties have been reported so far. The Russian Ministry of Defense announced that a Ukrainian drone was shot down in the Tombov region. It should be noted that the Tombov region is located approximately 800 kilometers from the border with Ukraine. Three more Ukrainian unmanned drones were downed over Russia on the night leading to July 4, Russian media reported. Two of the drones were shot down in Bryansk region, while another drone was shot down over the border Belgorod region, according to reports. Situated near the Ukrainian border, Belgorod is frequently targeted by Ukrainian drones. Trump discusses possibility of ceding part of Ukraine to Putin. Candidate for the U.S. President Donald Trump is discussing the possibility of ceding part of Ukraine's territory to Russian Vladimir Putin to quickly end the war, informs Politico. The media notes that the desire to quickly resolve the conflict likely plays a key role in Trump's plans regarding NATO and the fate of Ukrainian territories. The presumptive GOP nominee is mulling a deal whereby NATO commits to no further eastward expansion, specifically into Ukraine and Georgia, and negotiates with Russian President Vladimir Putin over how much Ukrainian territory Moscow can keep, two national security experts who support Trump told. In the same Politico article, it was noted that if Trump wins the US presidential election, the North Atlantic Alliance expects a radical reorientation. Earlier, it was reported on what Trump's plan to end the war in Ukraine looks like. In particular, it involves pressuring Kyiv to make concessions to Moscow. According to the Washington Post, people familiar with Trump's plan say that he said in a private conversation that he could end Russia's war against Ukraine by pressuring Kyiv to give up certain territory. Thus, Trump's idea is to push Ukraine to hand over Crimea and Donbass to Russian control, according to people who have discussed the issue with Trump and his advisers on condition of anonymity. According to the Washington Post, Trump said that he believes both Russia and Ukraine want to save face, want a way out, and that people in some parts of Ukraine would agree to be part of Russia. According to people who were at the meeting, former Trump White House aide Michael Anton described the expected outlines of the plans as Ukraine ceding the territories of Crimea and Donbass, limiting NATO expansion and encouraging Putin to reduce his growing dependence on China. Russian authorities recruit 17-year-olds to replenish losses in Ukraine. Russia has been actively recruiting 17-year-olds, including from patriotic movements, to replenish the losses during the invasion of Ukraine, hoping to recruit tens of thousands through propaganda that exploits youthful maximalism. Center of National Resistance of Ukraine says that in order to restore the unprecedented losses at the front in Ukraine, the Russian authorities are actively looking for manpower, including recruiting 17-year-olds. Currently, Russia is actively recruiting members of patriotic movements, including the network of military education centers, Warrior and Unamia. Teenagers aged 17 are being actively recruited to military enlistment offices to sign a contract upon reaching the age of majority. The report says it is noted that by playing on youthful maximalism through propaganda, the Russians hope to recruit tens of thousands of teenagers. The Center for National Resistance warns that every enemy who enters Ukrainian soil will be eliminated. As reported, the Vakovna Rada Commissioner for Human Rights, Dmitro Lubinets, said that Russia is recruiting Ukrainian children to set fire to vehicles of the armed forces of Ukraine. Since the first days of the full-scale war, the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine has been publishing daily reports about the situation on the front line and the total combat losses of the enemy, which grow bigger every day. As of July the 2nd, 2024, Russian combat losses amount 
to 545,090 troops, according to the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. As of July the 2nd, 2024, Russian tank losses in Ukraine reached 8,107 units, in addition to 15,566 lost armored personnel vehicles. Many of those were destroyed by Ukrainian defenders and left on Ukrainian land as Russian troops were retreating from the Kyiv Kharkiv or Kherson regions destined to be turned into scrap metal. In more than 28 months of full-scale war, Ukrainian forces also managed to destroy 28 Russian warships and boats, including the infamous Moskva, the flagship of the Russian Black Sea Fleet, as well as one submarine.